channel. I'm Steven, she's Andy, and we're on the 80s cruise. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're Steven and Andy, caffeinated travelers of the U.S. and beyond. When our lives changed completely in 2020, we decided it was our sign to spend as much time as possible enjoying what matters. This week, that's pop culture, a little time travel, and getting back to work. When Steven, who's a professional drummer, got the call to perform with Jack Russell's Great White on a cruise in the Caribbean, we jumped at the chance to combine our adventures and his job. And it didn't hurt that we'd get to spend the week with some epic bands enjoying nightly concerts. But first, we gotta get to the ship. It's <laughs> Yeah, the VIP holding area, the VIP check-in, nice and early, getting on the boat before everybody else. I kind of like this. I feel special. I know. We need him to be working more of these <laughs> cruises. This is the way to travel. Yeah. After a quick brunch... <laughs> We got settled in our cabin. All right, let's see our cabin. Since Steven's working on this cruise, we got to go for right. free. Yes, another balcony room. Sweet. Got a sofa in this one. Very little television. And oh, no look obstruction. At that. No obstruction on this view. Amazing. Ah, oh, beautiful. But that also meant that we didn't get to pick our room. So this was a wonderful surprise. Oh yeah, we got our ultimate 80s party lanyards. We're official now. Yeah, let's see the bathroom. Okay, one of these little pod shower things. Not my favorite, but it will do. Okay. Home for the next week. <laughs> Alright, you. I'm rock. Let's do this. First show of the cruise, a flock of seagulls. Of seagulls that we just finished watching. At one point between songs, they were talking about how, you know, they're a little bit out of practice because of the last couple of years, and you know what? So they, I think right on cue, as they were saying, we're just trying to get back into the swing of things, the whole boat like swung and everybody moved to this one side. It was on cue. Perfect, Perfect. timing. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Ooh, and we've got karaoke That's going on behind us. <laughs> Tell the people what we're doing. We are waiting to see ABC. Yes, Poison Arrow. A look of love when Smokey sings. Those are the big ones. We're really excited for this. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. I'm pretty sure if we keep going at this rate, I am actually going to feel the stage moving when I'm playing. I think so too. I think you're definitely going to be feeling it. I think he needs to bolt down his drum throne yeah. and then get like a seatbelt for it. That way he'll just be like fastened in for the whole show. And then if the whole kit slides off the stage, <laughs> I'll still be sitting there air drumming. You can just air drum, yeah. Which is how I learned how to play, so. Perfect. You know how to do it well then. Yeah. Full circle. <laughs> just got out of the ABC show. The Look of Love, Poison Arrow. My favorite, When Smokey Sings.
was so good. And you guys, Martin Fry, the lead singer, his voice, it is everything it was 40 years ago on the albums. His voice just is so amazing still. You know, with a lot of these nostalgia acts, you just kind of don't know, you know? And I'm not judging because I get it. Like as people age, they, you know, they maybe damage their voice or it just changes. Or sometimes they have health issues that cause them to lose their ability to sing. Oh my gosh, Martin Fry, note for note, he just goes so smoothly from like that smooth, whispery voice to the full like, oh, and it's so soulful. Oh, I was just loving every freaking minute of it. It was so good. First night on the boat, a flock of seagulls and ABC. What a way to kick off this week. But we're probably gonna end up crashing soon because tomorrow morning, bright and early, we get into Nassau, Bahamas. And Steven's playing tomorrow night, which means he's got sound check in the middle of the day. So we're gonna have to get off the boat early just so we could spend a couple hours tooling around Nassau, seeing what that's about. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get to stay for very long or do anything super fun where we're hoping to maybe go parasailing or something. I don't think we're gonna have time for all that now, we'll see. But uh, at least we're gonna go into town, see some of that cool um, historic architecture, maybe get some coffee. Okay, definitely get some coffee and uh, maybe some breakfast or something, we'll see. Day two. Yeah. We're going to Nassau, Bahamas. Our first international vlog. <laughs> Nassau was canceled. As you can tell, hopefully. It's extremely windy out here today. And apparently the wind's just offshore of the Bahamas and going through the channel. I'm just like knocking me over seriously. Going through the channel that we'd have to go through in order to get to Nassau were just too dangerous. Wow. So the captain was forced to call it. We weren't able to stop in Nassau. We got an extra day at sea, which uh, I'm not too bummed about. I could use the day to relax. Yeah, for sure. Seriously, like we got up at 6.45 this morning oh, so that we could get out, see Nassau. We were supposed to get there at eight o'clock and we had only a couple hours to explore because this one has sound check at noon today. I know. So we wanted to get out and see some of it before he had to come back to the ship all afternoon. Unfortunately, none of us got to see Nassau and we did not get to sleep in. Nope. But we're gonna go take a nap now. <laughs> This would be a good time to show you how our ship was transformed for this cruise. The 80s cruise is a charter that takes place once a year. They take over the entire ship and deck it out in full 80s glory. Restaurants and bars were renamed and redecorated for the theme. While regular passengers of Mariner of the Seas may have dined at Playmaker Sports Bar and Izumi Sushi, we had MVT, the music video tavern, and Rock and Roll Sushi. Our favorite though was the Goonies Bar, which others may know as Schooner Bar. One thing I really disliked about this ship was the complete lack of natural light in the main promenade. In order to cram in as many possible rooms, the promenade is lined by interior rooms overlooking the area. This ship just feels so dark and moody. More like we're in a mall than a ship, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Later, back in our cabin. What the heck? There's something on our bed. What is this? Is this actual spray cans? Oh my God, is this spray paint? What do we have? I think it's a drink thermos of some sort. What is that? Yeah, a it's like a, a sieve or a filter type of thing and it's stainless steel. Maybe it's for ice. Oh, know? so you can have like an ice drink. That is so cool. Like, that is super cool. <laughs> I love it. Cruise. It looks like a spray can. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, this thing just keeps going. It is so on theme. It says, prepare surface. Sunblock and adequate hydration recommended. Fill with your beverage of choice. So we solved that. It's definitely a drinks uh, tumbler type of thing. Shake vigorously like Tom Cruise in cocktail for most triumphant results. Yes, Bill and Ted. <laughs> Keep away from mogwais and buttheads. Uh, okay, Excellent. that's <laughs> good Gremlins reference in there as well. Available in 13 awesome colors. Blue Monday, Blue Jean, Midnight Blue, True Blue. <laughs> I was like, are these all blue? <laughs> 
<laughs> Little Red Corvette, of course. Red Red Wine. Purple Rain. Orange Crush. Pink Houses. Pretty in Pink. Black Velvet. Touch of Grey. And White Wedding. Wow, it's kind of wild here right now. I uh, didn't even wear my baseball cap out here because I think I'm probably going to lose it. So I'm looking a little goofy, but oh my gosh. The uh, captain just came over the public address and was talking about that we were going to be bouncing all afternoon. But that on our way to U.S. Virgin Islands, it should get better by tomorrow afternoon. But he was advising that everybody stay indoors for the most part for this afternoon. Enjoy the shows, enjoy the 80s activities they have planned for us. Whoa! <laughs> the ship's rocking so much, they started putting some barf bags around the railings on some of the stairways. And do you hear the creaking? Oh my god. It's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> <laughs> can't even walk a straight line. Have a good prom. You guys Thanks. look amazing. I have to get some video. Look at that jacket. Oh, oh, beautiful. Here we are. You look like a gentleman from ABC. We yeah. <laughs> Night two. Cameo. Yes, for this. <laughs> up on that stage, a whole horn section, yep. choreography. The harmonies were fantastic. Amazing. Larry Blackmon was not here on the cruise. I he know, had a medical emergency a right before the cruise and couldn't make it. Total they held bummer. It down, though. But man, the songs are so strong and the rest of the performers are so strong. We only missed him a little. Yeah. We definitely missed him, but only a little, and it was still so amazing. It's like we get new surprises every time I go back to the room. I just came back here to grab my cell phone real quick because I left it behind. And check it out. Okay, we got just enough time to run to the other venue, which also happens to be where Steven's playing, because our friends Gene Loves Jezebel, another band that Steven has played with a bunch, is performing right now. We're gonna catch the tail end of their show, and then Steven goes on. So excited! About to. Best view of the stage, you guys. Side stage if you can get it. Right on the stage, on the edge. I have seen some amazing shows from this perspective. Pretty fortunate in that sense. I think today I'm probably going to go out into the audience and check it out from there, get the real sound and everything. But a uh, little behind the scenes before the guys go on.
was a fail. They've got all kinds of cool stuff going on this week, like dodgeball, ping pong tournament, a t-shirt shredding contest. That's like an 80s thing, of course. We were just up on the sports deck trying to find the dodgeball competition. We thought that would be really fun to check out. And we couldn't find it. I don't know if it was canceled because of all the winds. I mean, man, it is windy up there. It's so windy that Stephen's coffee actually started to blow out of the cup. He had a lid on it and it was blowing out of the cup onto me. All of a sudden my arm was covered in coffee. This ship is just massive anyway. So maybe we just didn't find it. We went to the wrong area or something of the deck. I have no idea. Anyway, dodgeball for us was a massive fail. We're hoping to get into the Bloody Mary bingo with Jean Loves Jezebel and Modern English, but there was a line like all the way through the casino for that. So I don't know if we're even gonna get in, but we're gonna head over there next to see if we can check that out. All right, we got into the bingo game. Right up front so we can heckle them. And it's a double fisting kind of day. Michael Aston from Jean Loves Jezebel is hilarious. Give him a Bloody Mary and make him get up in the morning. I'm sure he's twice as funny. Has he ever think you'd be hanging out with rock stars? No. And you still aren't. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a really good session. I'm already tell. So, I think we're ready I'm to I'm calling my numbers in Welsh, so. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a very long day. Jean Loves Jezebel, 46. Yeah. Jean After bingo, we went for lunch. Unfortunately, I started to feel seasickness, and we had to cut our meal short so I could head back to the room and lay down for the afternoon. Just got back to our room, and that means day three goodies. Looks like we've got some wraparound sunglasses. Steven, will you do no us the way. honors? Let's see. Oh, green, too. It's my nice. color. Nice. Hold on. Just rip into it like Christmas. Sorry, it's not very smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like we're back 40 years. I feel like a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look on you, babe. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> All right, so Andy's fully recovered now. We got ourselves together for the evening. We're going to go find some dinner and check out the Sugar Hill Gang. Okay, scratch that. We were coming down the stairs to get ourselves to the dining room and ran into Kevin, the drummer from A Flock of Seagulls. Turns out there's a karaoke party going on right under our floor, and guys from the different bands were getting up and playing while passengers could get up and sing karaoke. Steven Hunt from Great White on the drums, everybody. like this is all these guys from all these different bands get chances to jam together to stuff they don't normally play and everybody's just hanging out and having a good time. Yeah. 
it's so much fun. Oh my gosh. Now we're getting some food. And then the real sugar hell gang. Yeah. <laughs> Day four was spent snorkeling in the Virgin Islands. We'll show you that next week. But we did manage to catch two awesome shows when we got back to the ship. like an old school gym bag. Oh my goodness. So much swag. Well, that's a good thing. We're going to need cool. that for the towels and stuff we just picked up here in St. Thomas yeah, because we were trying really... to figure out how to fit those in our very full suitcase. This is amazing. Could be a dog. I think he's swimming or, or, or a superhero. <laughs> All right, guys, leave it in the comments. What is this thing? <laughs> visit St. Martin, we had to get back to the ship on the early side so Stephen could play his second show, followed by two of the most rocking shows of the week.
surprise last minute addition to the lineup that is going to be mind-blowing this is gonna be awesome <laughs> these guys are pioneers these are four of the most incredible musicians i have ever met these are guys who are going to blow your mind with lyrics personal and blow your mind with political talk with stuff that's going to make you want to stand up yell scream Put your hands in the air and make a lot of noise for these guys. This is Living We've got one more super awesome thing going on tonight that I cannot wait to share with you all. And then, you'd think that would be it, right? Like, what a note to close out this whole cruise on. But no, we got two more days, and we've got a couple of badass women coming up in the next couple of days. Cannot wait to see those shows. So stay with us. Joining Terry on the next song, members of Great White, 
seen there not just the abundance of concerts and yeah. just everybody comes through we get to see everybody we want to see but really it's the jam nights these are nights where all of these musicians get together sometimes pre-planned sometimes completely spontaneously playing whatever comes to mind whoever wants to jump on stage together um, it's just these amazing opportunities for them to get to play with members of other bands that they don't usually get to play with and songs that they don't usually get to play and for people like me and other fans to get to just enjoy them enjoy music and that is the best yeah it's my favorite thing and so even though we've seen some incredible shows so far this week and i know we've got some incredible shows coming up in the yep. next couple of days i have a feeling that this night right here is going to have been my favorite of the whole this groups. was pretty awesome two days left on this cruise and they're both sea days now we're headed back to florida 
Looks like we got some smoother waters, which will be nice because, man, the first half of this trip was rough. We're gonna spend today just being lazy. We slept in. It's about lunchtime now, and we're finally getting ourselves together to go out into the rest of the ship. We are on no schedule. No worries about being anywhere at any time. Steven's not working today or tomorrow, so we're just gonna chill. It's gonna be nice. gosh are these lunch boxes wow i am dying oh right now <gasps> how are we gonna get all this stuff home <laughs> we don't have enough room in our luggage well we could pack some things inside of these and maybe check them uh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna pay 30 dollars at the That's airline to check my lunch box <laughs> so cool Oh, how rad. And yesterday we had a little mix up with our gifts. So we didn't show you yesterday's gifts, but Steven's going to show us now. Day five, we got t-shirts, the official cruise t-shirts. You probably saw people wearing these in one of our videos from the pool party think? today. Everybody was in these red t-shirts because it was t-shirt day. Got all of the acts on the back. Here we are. Oh yeah, great white. So much swag. This cruise is so fun. We really are going to have a problem packing. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure it out though. <laughs> we enjoyed all the amazing pop icon costumes as we made our way to the headline show. Devo! Rainbow Bride! I love it! Oh my gosh. Is he Mr. Roboto? Oh my god, that's amazing. And then we found ourselves dancing next to Mr. and Mrs. Pack. is wild. We're just like walking around. The next thing I look over and Steven's talking to Terry Nunn from Berlin. We're up in the buffet getting a late night snack and we sit down and over there is Corey Glover. Okay. We're walking down the corridor and there's a flock of seagulls. And I have to brag, I have a little proud wife moment here and Steven would be too bashful to share this. But after he played at one of the karaoke things, the guy who plays keys for Cameo came over and made a point of complimenting his drumming 
specifically his pocket, which if you don't know, it's a drummer thing. I won't go into it too much, but coming from someone who plays in such an iconic funk band, to compliment his pocket is huge. Last day, we've got to make this count. This is a band who's going to get you up out of the hot tub, get you on your feet, get you yelling, get you screaming, get you rocking out, doing the last day madness. Please welcome Drama Rama. Official show of the cruise, you guys. Berlin! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>